Hello students, once again, this is Dr. Mercado. Welcome back to Accounting 1329, Payroll and Business Tax Accounting. We are continuing covering the content from Chapter 2, dealing with computing wages and salaries. Now, in this particular video, I am going to be covering Problem 220A, which deals with commissions. Okay, so let's look at the problem. Now, this problem has a lot of information. It's very important that we read it carefully. We understand what is provided. Um, so we can be able to properly calculate all of the requirements, okay? So problem 220A states as follows. Jill Connor is employed as a salesperson in the men's department of Fashion Line. In addition to her weekly base salary of $440, Connor is paid a commission of 2% on her total net sales for the week. That's her total gross sales less any customer returns. During the past week, to promote the sale of its fine cashmere sweaters, Fashion Light agreed to pay Connor an additional PM, which is push money, of 2% of the total net sales of cashmere sweaters. Connor's weekly sales tally is given below, and then they provide us with the item, the gross sales, and the customer returns. We are being asked to compute Connor's total weekly earnings, showing her weekly base salary, commission, push money and total weekly earnings okay so we have a lot of calculations to do now this employee gets paid a base salary of 440 so regardless of what they sell they're going to get paid 440 dollars now to incentivize that they sell a lot they get paid an add-on commission of two percent on the net sales that they produce okay so this particular section deals with um commissions you can find information dealing with commissions on section 24d of your uh, textbook okay um, so basically a commission is a stated percentage of revenue paid to an employee who transacts a piece of business or performs a service okay so um, in this particular case um, we are going to go ahead and we're going to begin with the different requirements okay some of these are provided to you in the problem others we are going to have to calculate Okay, so to start off, we're going to start off with the weekly base salary that is given to you in the problem. Um, O'Connor, Jill Connor earns weekly base salary of $440. Okay. Now we have to calculate the weekly gross sales. Okay, so if we look here, we have the gross sales and we've got the returns. So to get the gross sales, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add all of the sales that we had for the week. Okay. So I'm going to get my calculator out and we're going to go ahead and add the 400 for regular sweaters, 995 for cashmeres, 190 for ties, 445 for dress shirts, and 185 for sports shirts. So my total gross sales are of $2,215. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to deduct our customer returns because we need to figure out our net sales. Net sales is your gross sales less returns. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tally up all of our customer returns. We had returns of $48 for our regular sweaters. We had $75 of our cashmere sweaters being returned. We had $39 of our dress shirts and $25 for our sports shirts. So in, return, in total, we had returns of $187. Okay. So now we can calculate my weekly net sales. Okay. And this is going to be... If we add the, uh, or if we get the 2215, 2215 is what we sold. We had returns of 187. We had net sales of $2,028. Okay. Now that we have our weekly net sales, we can go ahead and we can calculate. Remember, the problem said Connor has paid a commission of 2% on her total net sales. Well, we've calculated our net sales of 2028. Now we can go ahead and we can calculate that commission, okay? So we've got 2028 times 2%, okay? So we've got 2028 times 2%, and that will give me $40.56, okay? So this is my commission on my total net sales, okay? That 2% commission of my total net sales. Okay. Now, this particular week, they had a special promotion going on. They were paying their employees an extra 2% for the, 
for any cashmere sweaters. They're trying to push the cashmere sweaters to be sold. So they told their sales staff, any cashmere sweaters that you sell on top of the 2% that you are already getting for your net sales, we're going to give you an extra 2% or selling cashmere sweaters. So if you can see, this person really pushed forward to try to sell those sweaters, okay? So we're gonna get the weekly gross sales of our cashmere sweaters. We sold $995 of cashmere sweaters. Uh, we're gonna, uh, they had returns of $75, okay? So my weekly net sales of my cashmere sweaters or we sold $9.95, customers returned $75. So that means we have net sales of cashmere sweaters of $9.20. So you subtract your sales minus your returns, and that will give you $920 net sales of the cashmere sweaters. The problem stated that uh, the push money was 2% of the total net sales of cashmere sweaters. We just calculated that net sales of cashmere of $9.20. So now I can put the 920 here, okay? And we are getting paid an extra 2%. So we're gonna get the 920 times my 2%. So I'm gonna get an add-on commission of $18.40 based on the promotion that they want us to push the cashmere sweater. So on top of my regular 2% commission, I'm getting 2% commission on any sales dealing with cashmere sweaters, causing me to earn an extra $18.40, okay? okay? Now that I've got my base salary, my commission for my total net sales, and my commission for the push money based on the sales of the cashmere sweaters, I can calculate my total weekly earnings. So your total weekly earnings are going to be your $440 plus your $4056 plus your $1840. And that will give you your total weekly earnings of $498.96. Okay. So this is a fabulous problem because it allows us to practice calculating commissions. Okay. A base salary is provided. We, um, the employees are getting paid a fixed commission of 2% on their total net sales. And this week they have a promotion of 2% uh, extra push money if they sell um, cashmere sweaters. So that's an, add, uh, an added on commission on top of their regular commission to incentivize uh, the salespeople to sell those sweaters, okay? When we're done, so we add the base salary plus the commission for the net sales plus the commission on the push money for the cashmere sweaters to get our total weekly earnings of $498.96, okay? Please go back and read in detail the section dealing with commissions on your ebook. That way you have a better understanding of what is going on. There are excellent examples provided about the process. Um, so that is basically it for this particular, for this particular lecture. Um, we've covered uh, we have covered um, in this particular lecture how to calculate, uh, you know, overtime. We have calculated how to uh, calculate earnings based on the piece rate system. And now we have calculated commissions, okay? Please, as you're working your assignments, if you have any questions, concerns, if you need any uh, help, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, please refer to your syllabus for my scheduled office hours. Please organize your time. Don't try to start your homework at 9 p.m. on Sunday to get it done by 11. Okay, you're not gonna get it done, okay? Please try to work on the homework during the week. Pace yourself, that way you get all of the problems done. And you actually sit there and analyze and um, you know study the information being provided and apply what is provided to you in the chapter to the actual different scenarios, okay? Remember, two attempts are provided. I keep the highest grade for both your homework and your quizzes. I highly encourage all students that if you do not earn a 70% or better on either your homework or your quizzes, to please utilize the second attempt to try to earn the most points possible, okay? So that is basically it for this lecture. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.